morning this month, you may see something strange flying through our local skies. That's because the FAA has just cleared the air for civilian drones to take flight. Quinn Local 6 reporter Chad Carter shows us how they work and how they could help save lives. Taking off with the buzz of a bee swarm, it's not often you get a look at the Portland International Rose Test Garden like this, with something that looks more like a toy than a drone. But rising over the roses is just the start. With the capability to stream live HD video to the ground, these drones could soon be helping out with public safety, emerging as the next great leap in emergency response. I, there's not the faintest doubt in my mind that within 10 years, we will be seeing drone aircraft everywhere. Started as a hobby in Portland, Patrick Sherman and Brian Zawisna are better known as the tongue-in-cheek <laughs> Roswell flight test crew. Designing, building, and flying their birds all around town. I, mean, I just immediately thought, wow, you could have a little camera swing around the backside of a house that was on fire, or there was a barricaded gunman or whatever. Assignment will be engine two. Engine 7. Partnering with the Portland Fire Bureau, we tested the drone's ability during this high rise training exercise, giving firefighters a chance to see firsthand what they can do. Can you position our uh, aerial drone in, in a spot where we can uh, get a visual on the roof and see what the conditions are up there? Using a small mounted monitor, fire crews directed their attack from over 150 yards away. Copy that. We're uh, moving the drone in on the roof here. Yeah, as you can see in this shot here, the drone is able to. Get within yards of the of the uh, firefighters working on the rooftop. With fire crews battling inside, the drones gave incident commanders Copy that. Smoke from the scuttle hatch on the roof. a new look at keeping them safe from angles they never see. The firefighters trying to decide if it's safe to put somebody up on this roof or determine if there's nobody in the top story of a building. You, I mean, you could really jeopardize lives trying to gain that information, but here we can do it, you know, painlessly. Seeing the drones in action for the first time, firefighters were quick to think how they could be deployed, recalling a recent train derailment along Highway 30 that sparked a ferocious fire and released hazardous chemicals into the air. And because of that, we weren't able to put our firefighters uh, near the near the scene because of the explosion hazard, and this application. Would, would have been perfect for that. Portland fire crews say there's no doubt the drones could help protect lives, but say they're not ready yet to adapt the technology. Though some are, Congress has cleared the way for law enforcement and rescue agencies to fly unmanned vehicles starting May 15th. This technology definitely is going to have its place, and, and it's giving everyone that's viewed this demonstration a, an opportunity to see a vantage point that you wouldn't get a chance to see as a, as a incident commander on a regular fire scene. So whether it's rescues, response, or roses, emergency crews could soon get a set of eyes where human ones are just too dangerous to use. Reporting for you, Chad Carter, Coin Local 6. Another note here, the Clackamas County Sheriff's Department says uh, through the help of volunteers, uh, you know, they can keep these things in the air or maybe train someone to keep them if they ever want to want to do that. And there's even talk, Kelly, of news stations maybe using this to cover certain stories sometimes instead of a, a helicopter. So I think uh, the guy's right here. I think these drones, you're going to see much more of these around in the years to come.